Shalom family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you. In the name of Jesus, like I always say, I don't believe in coincidence. If God led you to click on this video, it's because he wants you to be connected to this ministry. Please do not miss out on it. Kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're not going to miss out on it. Whenever God has a word for you, you are not going to miss out on it. And if this is not your first time, family, you already know I love you so much and I pray for you always so the lord gave me this warning it came as a warning the lord i kept hearing be careful be careful be careful and i asked like okay what what god what what are you saying god what do you mean what's the warning all about god says i should tell someone be careful do not go back to your old ways the devil is out there deceiving people do not go back to where god had delivered you from God had delivered you from your old habits, from your old ways of life, from what you used to do that was wrong. And right now you have entered into his marvelous light. And the devil is coming to tempt you to go back to that way, to that way of life. The devil stands at the door and is waiting for you to go back so that he will get at you and he will, he will get at you in a way you never expected. Maybe you were making money through a fraudulent way and by the mercy of God, he delivered you and took you out of death and right now things are a little difficult for you and you're thinking in your heart that you'd rather go back to that way of life maybe when you were doing it you got away with it but right now that the devil knows you've been delivered from it if you go back there he's going to make sure you never get away with it he's going to make sure he, he you, you get into big troubles that you never thought of yes you got away from them in time past because the devil did not put his eyes on you you were serving his purpose so he did not focus on you for evil but right now that god has delivered you if you go back there he's going to make sure that you never leave he's going to make sure that it catches up with you or maybe if you used to live so much in a life of death and god delivered you from that life right now he's saying do not go back to a life of death borrowing is not a kingdom habit it's not a kingdom practice unless you pray and the lord approves of the fact that you should borrow you shouldn't go back to that life of death you shouldn't go back or maybe you were possessed by a demon and you've been delivered jesus makes us to understand that whenever you've been delivered from a demon from an unclean spirit it goes away but when the house is empty the devil sees that the house is empty and maybe you are not doing anything to maintain your deliverance. You go back to your old ways of life. He's going to come back. He's going to go. He's going to get many more demons to come and infiltrate your, 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 your life. And it's going to be worse than it was before. Your situation is going to be worse than it was before. And so God is passing this warning across to you. Do not go back to your old ways of life. Only a dog goes back to his vomit only a dog vomits and goes back to it god has delivered you from that thing god has set you free from that way of life live a life worthy of this new calling you have received you live a life worthy of the calling you have received of, from god thank god for your deliverance walk in your deliverance move forward and never look back there is nothing for you behind your life can always only move forward and not backward that is where the blessing is it doesn't matter what happens keep pressing forward keep pressing apostle paul says i press on to the mark of the high calling keep looking forward and never behind because there is nothing behind for you if there was something there for you you would have gotten it a long time ago but the fact that you were there and you had no peace the fact that you were there and you had no joy the fact that you were there and God's mercy brought you into this marvelous light. Do not look back like the woman, like Lord's wife. Do not look back. God has rescued you from that life. Do not look back. Looking back will only turn you into a pillar of salt. Looking back depicts that you are not grateful and it might only turn you into a pillar of salt. Walk in the light of your deliverance. Walk in the light of this new life that you've been called into and it's going to get better and better and better. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you for this prophetic word. Lord, I pray that you give us the grace to walk 
according to them in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace not to look back. Give us the grace not to go back to our vomits. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Shalom, family. God bless you and have a wonderful day.